Hello guys, today I'm going to speak about the marketing philosophies in marketing subject. Uh, first of all, I want to uh, explain that what is marketing. Uh, actually, in our previous videos, I explained some topics in marketing, but I didn't mention about the, what is marketing. And I decided that, uh, first of all, to explain that what is marketing. The marketing is the uh, activity set of the institution and process for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging of offerings that have value for customers, clients, partners, and society at large. Guys, you see here there are the four processes. It is that, as you see, the first one creating, the next one communicating, the next one delivering, and the last one it is, it is exchanging. That now that, guys, uh, there are other that explanation of marketing too, that as that you see that marketing is about the satisfying needs and wants through the exchanging process. And the other definition of, uh, of it, it is that marketing is based on the thinking about the business in terms of customer needs and their satisfaction. Guys, actually, the marketing first aim that is, is that create the customer value. What is it? It is about the customer satisfaction. That is why, I guess, when we explain the word marketing, we emphasize the customer satisfaction. And guys, other that uh, understand this market, where is market? When uh, actually you can remember when I explained the consumer buyer behavior and business buyer behavior, I get the explanation of market too. Now that again, I want to speak about it. Market is a place that buyers and sellers come together and they make the exchanging process. It is that about the market. And uh, that other that you see the definition of a market, it is a medium that allows buyers and the sellers of a specific good or services to interaction order to facilitate and exchange. Again, guys, it is the same, that explanation, but the first explanation is a, that uh, you see that it's a little bit small and you see that broader definition of market. Now, guys, I'm going to speak about the, what is the customer satisfaction, guys. That if you know that actually that today that uh, because of the, there are a lot of the alternatives, that is the why that we make that actually comparison that among the products and services, which one that uh, to buy and that actually I explained in uh, in consumer and buyer, uh, the business buyer behavior. But what, what about the guys' customer satisfaction? What is it? It is about the guys that it measures how well the expectation of a customer concerning your, uh, a product or service provided by your company have been met. Guys, we all have the, some expectation from the some products and uh, about the service. Our guys' satisfaction is not the same. Depending on uh, other factors, that some environmental factors, our characteristics, internal factors, external factors, our satisfaction is different. That what what is satisfaction actually? If our expectation that from the any product or service, if it is the provided by the company, it means that we are the satisfied and it is about the customer satisfaction. Nice, uh, guys, now uh, I'm going to uh, explain the three that main that understandings in marketing that need, want, and demand. Actually, uh, that, uh, that you see that it is the sample that what is need, demand, and what is uh, want. But in marketing, guys, it is so that important that issues that now that I'm going to explain that what is need, what is want, and what is demand. Guys, need, it is a necessity. For example, as every lives that we need the water to continue our life, food, Food and etc. Yeah? Okay, it is the uh, necessity. It is called the need. For example, uh, that why we buy that uh, phone. The first that uh, our need it is about maybe communication and etc. Guys, yeah, it's the necessity. It is need. But what about the guys want? Want is desire. Yes. Yes, we have a need, but uh, we have we all have the some desire about the some products and uh, that uh, services and etc. For example, uh, we we have a need for education, yeah. But for example, but what, uh, what is our desire? Where we want to get this? Uh, yes, uh, that education. For example, that maybe that there are a lot of that universities yeah, in Azerbaijan. Maybe that Baku Engineering University. It is your desire, yeah. That Education, it is your need, but your want, your desire, it is that, for example, Baku Engineering University. Or, for example, I want to give that about the product that you have a need for communication and uh, your desire, it is, for example, last version of iPhone, iPhone 12 Pro, yes, if I do not mistake, it's like that. Yeah, it is your desire. 
we all have the desires and without the desire we can't live if we have desire it means that we live but what about guys demand demand it is that willing or able to buy guys uh, First of all, it is about the, our purchasing ability. If we have the purchasing ability, it is demand. But the purchasing ability, it is not enough. And of course, that we need that uh, willing to. Maybe uh, we have the purchasing ability, but if we do not have will to buy this product or service, it is still not demand. That for demand, that there is that two uh, that critic points, that you're willing and the purchasing ability. For example, guys, as I said before, that about the phone, that my one, my desire is that last version of iPhone, yeah? Okay, if I do not have purchasing ability, and if I can't buy it, it is not demand. Demand it if I can buy it, it is demand. And uh, maybe that I have the purchasing ability, but I think that if I do not mistake that it is approximately that 4,000 manos, yeah? or three, that three and it is between three and uh, four uh, thousand manas, yeah? If I think that maybe that I have the purchasing ability, but I think that it is too much for the phone, and that is why I do not have the willing, yeah? Okay, it is that if I do not have willing, it is not demand. For demand, we need the two the points, that uh, willing and the able to buy. It is a difference between the uh, need, one, and demand. And guys, now I'm going to speak about the concepts, guys, they're actually marketing philosophers, it is about the concepts that sometimes the students can feel that these topics, yes guys, the marketing philosophers, I mean about the concepts of the marketing, guys. Yes, as you see here, there are the f five the concepts in marketing. First of all, guys, you see that the production concept, the product concept, then sales concept, marketing concept, and the societal marketing concept. Now guys, so let's explain the, all of them, what is these concepts? First of all, guys, the production uh, the concept. What is the production concept? That it holds that consumers will favor products that are uh, available and highly affordable, and management should therefore focus on the improving production and distribution efficiency. Guys, what is it actually? Let's say that simply that. In production concept, they consider that who actually support the production concept. They consider that actually consumers uh, care about that actually high that actually that products. Yes, a lot of products. Yeah, they do not actually focus on the consumer the satisfaction. They think that just that they focus on the uh, production process how to develop this production process, how to develop the productivity, and they just think about it. They do not care about the consumer satisfaction. It is a guys that uh, that is why it is called the production concept. It is about their focus is about the uh, production process. But guys, uh, now that you can see that, yes, it is not that actually that good, that concept, because of the, yes, where we say that marketing is important and it, that here in marketing, actually, the first aim it is about the, to create a customer satisfaction. But where we say that in production concept, we do not see any customer satisfaction, yeah? But it means that it is that useless for us. But guys, there are the two situations that it can be successful. And now that I'm going to speak about the, these situations, firstly, when the demand for product exceeds the sub supply. For example, guys, so let's say that, uh, especially that under, maybe that you can remember, that, mm, that in 90s, that in Azerbaijan, that the situation was so hard, uh, we were under war, and you remember there was the queue for uh, bread, yeah? Okay, if that, guys, there are not alternatives, and, and if the guys that demand that, uh, about that actually, the consumers, their demand, it is so higher than the supply, in that case, guys, they do not care about the other alternatives, they just need the bread, yeah? Okay, and that is why here to focus on the production process it is successful why because of the eat that uh, increase the productivity now that people need it that this this is the first situation and the next situation guys the where the products cost is too high because of the uh, there is a lack of the productivity and that is why if that you that increase your productivity it means if your cost that as a result of it if your cost will decrease that in now that production concept here it is successful yes guys there are two types of the situation that you see that it can be successful now guys i'm gonna uh, speak about the, the production concept 
Guys, what is the product? Uh, the, I'm sorry, the product concept. What is product concept? It is that actually they think that they uh, will favor, consumers will favor products that offer the most quality, performance, and innovative feature that organizations should thus devote energy to making continuous product improvements. Yes, guys, now that here, as that you, you see that it is called the product concept, that here, uh, that who support this idea, they just focus on the uh, product, how to improve the product, to make that new, that uh, innovative product, to add some features product just product they just focus on the product how to improve this product not production product okay guys but what is the guys uh, that as you see here that actually the, you can say that yes it is good because of the day to focus on the product and they try that to add new features then or that to that create a more innovative that products yes it is good it's because of it can cause the customer satisfaction but guys yes it is not that sometimes yeah, it is not good that because of the it that cause the other factors that it is called the marketing myopia what is marketing myopia guys you know that what is myopia it is a disease disease and uh, unfortunately today the most of the people they are suffer from this disease what is my marketing myopia guys what I what we said guys in is in product concept that uh, they actual producers the companies they just focus on the product yeah and that you know that they just focus on the product and that is why they do not see that what happens around them that is why that it is called the marketing myopia. Guys, there are some products that they are the outdated. Maybe that you can that improve it so good, so well, yeah? You can add new features, so innovative, but if it is outdated, that it is useless. And that is because you do not see that what happens around you, you just focus on the product and you want to improve it, improve it, but if it is outdated, it is useless. For example, guys, MP3 player, you remember it maybe. And now that who use it, yeah? That I, I do not uh, know that anyone around me that they use it. Guys, let's say, uh, guys, that for example, MP3 player, they are the outdated today because we have all that, we all have the smartphones and they are that we can listen to a lot of that uh, music, uh, songs. But uh, that is why, guys, it, uh, now that we do not need it. But imagine that they just uh, focus on it and they improve the new that, uh, it and they add the new features. Guys, it is useless. Maybe it is so that excellent, that empathy player, but still that we will not buy it because it is outdated. There are the some uh, other that, uh, products that actually they, uh, we can use it to, the alternative products uh, for them. And that is why guys the product the lack of the actually product concept it is it and what about the guys the selling concept this in selling concept the companies think that they can sell that any any product any services if they can make that really good promotion through the good promotion they can sell that each product and the services it is about the selling concept and guys, uh, actually, I didn't mention about it that uh, selling concept. What is the guys at disadvantage of the selling concept? Guys, actually, as you see here, they do not uh, care about the customer. That they, they do not mention about the customer satisfaction. And they say that yes, why are that through the good promotion? Yes, they will sell that any product and the service. But guys, for the now that I will show the graphic for you and. He, that there you can see that uh, some that disadvantages of the selling concept and the differences between the marketing concept and the selling concept and that is why that it is not successful and uh, guys in Azerbaijan yes unfortunately some companies still they use the selling concept they do not that actually focus on the customer satisfaction they just focus on the selling and of course guys for the short term they can be successful if they have a really good ability for convincing and if really they have have good promotion but for the long term guys you know there are a lot of alternatives and if the alternatives they are the better than your product of course guys that you will lose your customers and now guys I'm gonna speak about the marketing concept guys the marketing concept is what we learn about the marketing it is about the, uh, it is that actually they all uh, that exist in marketing concept that they hold that uh, achieving organizational goals depends on determining the needs and wants of target markets delivering the desired satisfaction but more more efficiently and effectively than competitors do yes guys 
to take into account the customer satisfaction, still it is not enough that you have to do it better than your competitors do. Because of the today, there are a lot of a lot of competitors, yeah? there are a lot of uh, that alternatives for consumers, yeah? for customers. Why they have to choose you? That you have to make the competitive advantage and you have to implement that these, uh, that actual, this process better than your competitors do. It is the marketing concept. Guys, what about the, of course guys, that mo uh, it is the one of the most desired and, and concept, the marketing concept, but now that I offer the better one for you, that you say that yes, the marketing concept is okay, yes, it is about the customer satisfaction, yes, it is good, but I offer the better uh, one, that the societal marketing concept. Guys, what is the societal marketing concept? Actually, guys, it is that you see that the uh, explanation, it is the same with marketing concept, but here the difference, guys, just that you see the difference that is the end of the uh, sentence, the society's well-being. Yes, guys, again, that they do, that they offer their uh, products and they take into account the customer satisfaction and they offer the uh, products and taking into account the customer satisfaction and uh, they do this process better than the competitors do. They take into account the need and want, but they, uh, uh, that they actually they also care about the society's well-being. For example, guys, today that we can see that a lot of companies that they are actually really good, they can create a customer satisfaction, what about, but what about the society's well-being, they really care about it, let's say that yes, that you can that, uh, imagine that some companies that they are really good in, the, in business, but actually not the most of that, all of them, they care about the society's well-being, it is about the, for example, environmental factors and etc. For example, we, uh, we speak about the McDonald's, yeah, they are really good in that they are really, uh, they are actually implementing a marketing concept. But let's say, guys, what about the society's well-being? For example, that you know that there are some that products they uh, they actually use and they uh, actually, and after they're using that it damages the environment, for example, oil and etc. cetera. Uh, for example, in, U in USA, there are some companies that they actually use it again, that these oils, uh, but in Azerbaijan, yes, it is that actually so-so. Now guys, I'm going to speak about the differences between the selling concept and marketing concept. When I speak about the selling concept, I said that I will uh, that explain the differences between them. And then uh, now that you can see, understand better that what is a selling concept and what is a marketing concept. Guys, you see here, the, the, it is like the matrix now, okay? That you see the guys, the starting point, there are the four differences. That starting point, folks, means, and the ends. First of all, guys, what do you see? That their starting points in selling concept they are starting points in fact is factory but in marketing concept you see that market what what does it mean guys what have we said guys uh, in marketing concept guys they do not actually uh, that begin from the company first of all guys before the production that there is a guys another definition of the marketing it is that marketing begins before the production what does it mean, guys? Actually, they do not implement a production process. It begins before the production. What does it mean? That before the production, guys, they make the marketing research that what, what is the customer's expectation? What the customer, what is their need? What is their want? And they identify it and they take that, uh, they gather the information about it and after it they report about it, the production, the department and they that produce such kind of the product if they have the capacity. That is why I say that guys, marketing concept, it begins from the market because of the first of all, they make the market research before the production and after it through this information, they make the production. That is why that we say that it begins before the, uh, the production and it begins from the market. But what about the guys selling concept? In selling concept, guys, they do not make any research that before the production. That the company that what we said that in selling concept, what they say, uh, they say that they can buy that any product, any service, if they can make really good promotion. And that is why that that you know that there is that uh, that product, yeah, okay, it is already that this is product they already that produced it. And now that they try to sell it, they, they do not make that any research that before the production. That is why we say that they started point is uh, in selling concept it is a uh, factory 
The next fine guy is the Fox. The selling concept, their Fox point, it is the existing products, and the marketing concept, it is the customer needs. What we said, guys, that actually uh, marketing concept, customer needs, because of the guys, they're actually about the starting points. It begins that from the market, and it begins that before the production, because of the, they gather the information about the customer needs. What is their expectation from the products and services? Because of the, if they can understand it, it means that they, they can sell that their uh, product to uh, and service and you know and that is why we say that their folks it is a customer needs but we're about the selling concept their folks it's about the existing products because what we said it begins from the factory and there is already existing products and they just that focus on it and they uh, want to emphasize they try to emphasize this strong size of it and how to sell it and the advantages of the products and etc and that is why they just focus on the existing products and the uh, third one is about the means. Guys, the selling concept is about the selling and promoting, and the marketing it is the integrated market. What is it, guys? There are a lot of that, yes, the types of the marketing, yes, and it, that is why the, uh, how to make that is marketing that process, and that is why we say that in marketing it is the integrated marketing. But in sales, it is just about the selling and the promotion. Yes, because of that, they do not make the research, and they do not that actually before they take into account the customer satisfaction, that, that is why the how they can now the sell their product. They just that focus on the selling and how to sell it and how to promote it. It is the uh, means. And the last one, it is the ends, guys. The selling concept, it is the profits through the sales volume. But what about the marketing? Marketing it is the profits through the customer satisfaction. Guys, of course, the companies that all companies, their first aim, it is profit. It doesn't mean, guys, the marketing concept doesn't that actually they care about the customer satisfaction because of the, they really care about the customers. Actually, because of the profit yes you know that if you can that make the customer satisfaction yes if they are satisfied with you it means that the next one they will buy that your product and service again and again that is why they actually they care about the customer satisfaction and that is why guys what we say that that marketing it is a for long term because of that they can buy, uh, create their uh, loyalty in customers but the selling concept yes maybe that if that you can't satisfy that your uh, that customers, maybe that the first time that you can convince them and through the really good the selling and promoting actions, maybe that they will buy that your product or services. But what about next? Actually, if you are not satisfied with it, you you will buy that actually you can buy it just once. But if today you buy it and you use it, and if you are not satisfied with this product or services, the next time you will not buy it. And that is why what we say the selling concept that they just actually uh, it is it, it can work just for. Short, uh, short time and guys their profit through sales volumes that is why we say okay guys uh, it is the end of our topic see you later